Hello dears, right now our topic is complex numbers and in complex numbers we are going to learn the concept of rotation. What is the rotation in complex numbers? You just understand that. Okay, you know that what is the modulus of a complex number and what is the argument of a complex number. Modulus means the distance of the point from the origin that is we can say R. You can see in the figure and the angle is theta okay now this theta is called as an argument this theta is the angle with the real axis and this r is the distance of z from the origin okay now if i want to rotate this complex numbers by an angle theta 1 in anti clockwise direction now you might have known that anti clockwise direction is understood as a positive direction of the rotation got this it is a positive direction of the rotation so if you want to rotate a complex number z by an angle theta 1 in anti clockwise direction then we have to multiply this with e raised for iota theta 1 so effectively you can say that z is r e raised to power iota theta into e raised to power iota theta 1 so your result will be r into e raised to power iota theta plus theta 1 it means that in this case the modulus of the complex number will remain same but we have reached up to this place we have started from the z and modulus will remain same but we reach up to this place and this could be termed as any new complex number z1 whose modulus will remain same as of z and argument will be added with theta1 i think you got this concept you just see that the modulus is r here it is for z1 it is the complex number after the rotation of the z got this so modulus is r and argument is theta plus theta 1 got this yes now if you want to rotate the same complex number by an angle theta 2 in clockwise direction now you might have known that this clockwise direction is termed as the negative direction of the rotation got this now if you want to rotate the complex number by an angle theta in clockwise direction what we have to do let be, let it be your output is z2 so z2 will be equals to z into e raised to power iota theta 2 with negative sign so that will be equals to r into e raised to power iota theta into e raised to power iota theta 2 so your resultant will be r into e raised for iota theta minus theta 2 and that is equals to the z so you can again understand that your modulus remains same and your argument is theta minus theta 2 i think you got this this is theta minus theta 2 and the modulus will remain same i think there shouldn't be any confusion in this Okay. Yes, you might have understand the concept of rotation, but I'm just giving an example by which you can understand that and its application in the coordinate geometry. How can you use this concept of rotation in the coordinate geometry? Now you just see the concept. I'm just giving an example that there is a equilateral triangle whose two sides are 0 comma 0 and 3 comma 4 now i want to know the coordinates of third quadrant got this my dear and it is again this and this so you have to find out the coordinates of third vertex it is x and y and it can be possible in the denominator also and you know that this angle is always 60 degree if it is an equilateral triangle this angle will always be in 60 degree now it is very lengthier process if you 
who want to do this question by the ordinary process of coordinate geometry then it will be a very very lengthier process and you can just try that one and you will find that yes obviously it is a lengthier process but in complex numbers we can find out the answers within one or two steps you just see how see this it is the origin and this could be understood as a complex number oe could be understood as a complex number and suppose this point is b and this point is c so i have to rotate oe i have to rotate oe by an angle 60 degree in anti clockwise direction and similarly i have to rotate this one by an angle 60 degree in clockwise direction if i am rotating in this manner we can easily find out the coordinates of b and c okay now to find out the coordinate of b what i have to do o a into e raised to power eta into pi by 3 why pi by 3 because i have to rotate the complex number by an angle 60 degree in anti clockwise direction then i will get o b it means that okay it means that x plus eta y is equals to o is 3 plus 4 eta into e raised to power eta pi by 3 you can understand that x plus eta y is equals to 3 plus 4 eta into e raised to power eta pi by 3 is cos pi by 3 plus eta sin pi by 3 so it is cos pi by 3 will be equals to 1 by 2 plus eta root 3 by 2 you just multiply them real part will be equals to x and imaginary part will be equals to y you can easily find out that and just to find out the coordinates of c you can easily understand that suppose the coordinates of c is alpha comma beta so in the similar way as we have done in the previous concept alpha plus eta beta will be equal to 3 plus 4 eta into e raised to power minus eta pi by 3 i change the sign because right now i have to rotate the complex number by an angle 60 degree in clockwise direction you just see this is the direction of the rotation and obviously this is an clockwise direction okay so what it will be it is 3 plus 4 eta into it is cos pi by 3 minus eta sin pi by 3 by the simple com simple calculations you can easily find out the real part as well as the imaginary part now real part will be the alpha and imaginary part will be the beta okay yes thank you